Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News, your go-to spot for the latest and greatest in the gaming universe. Today we've got a special treat. We're plugging into the Dead of Power, the game that's been turning head and sparking debates all over. Is it the next big thing in survival gaming or just a flitting fad? Smash that like button, hit subscribe if you're new here and join me on this epic adventure as we decode the mysteries of Power together. Okay, so what's the big deal about power? Imagine a world where Pokemon-like creatures roam in a survival setting, peppered with intense crafting mechanics. That's our world for you. A fusion of genres that's as intriguing as it is divisive. Since its launch, it's been nothing short of a phenomenon. We're talking over 6 million copies sold in just the first 4 days. And the player's engagement? Oh my gosh, absolutely through the roof, with a peak of nearly 1.8 million players on Steam. These numbers are not just impressive, they're record breaking. But here is where it gets spicy. Take a good look at these characters from Powerworld. Notice anything familiar? This creature, while unique in their own right, bear a striking re resemblance to the Pokemon we all know and love. From their design to their elemental types, the parallels are uncanny. Is this a clever nod to a beloved franchise or is Power treading a fine line between inspiration and imitation? As we dive into this, similarity will explore not just aesthetic but also how this design choices impact the overall gameplay and player experience in power all right let's get into the nitty gritty of power this game is a whole new ball game folks it's not just about collecting an admiral cute creature that's resemble our beloved pokemon oh no it's way more than that power is a survival game at its, its core sprinkled with interact crafting system and intense battles and we're not talking turn-based pokemon battle here this is real-time combat where crafting and quick thinking are as crucial as your probabilities you're in a world where survival is a key and your paw are your lifeline be it for building battling or just getting by it's a fresh take on the monster collecting genre, merging familiar charm with hardcore survival mechanics. In Power, the way you interact with your pals can change your gameplay experience. Need to build something? Your pals are there to help. Heading into a tough battle? Choose your pals wisely, as each comes with unique powers and abilities. This game makes you rethink the traditional collect them all approach pushing you towards strategic choices for survival and success. Now, let's zoom into the gaming community, frequency on power. It's buzzing to say the least, from the deep corner of Reddit to the bustling lands of Twitter. Gamers everywhere are chiming in with their opinion. It's a mixed bag, really, there are players who are totally enamored with this unique blend of survival and monster collecting. Then there are others who raise their eyebrows at the game originality, drawing parallels to the Pokemon series. The theory, oh, the what? From speculation about the game lore to prediction about future updates, the community is alive with discussion and debates. These conversations are not just about the game mechanic or just resemblance to Pokemon, they delve into the potential of Power World. It's a world building, and the ethical question it poses with its survival elements. It's fascinating to see such diverse viewpoints and theories coming to life. With all this buzz, the big question is, what lies ahead for Power World? The game launch has been explosive, real hit right out of the gate. But as with any early access game, the journey has just begun. We can likely anticipate updates, expansions, and possibly even changes in response to player feedback and the controversies. How will Bucket Pair navigate this success and address the community concern? Will Power continue to soar in popularity, or will it need it to evolve to keep players engaged?
That's my friend is the million dollar question. The future of power is as intriguing as its present. Will we see new balls, more interact crafting system, expanded world, or maybe even a pivoting design to address the controversies? The possibilities are endless. And I, for one, I'm here for it. And now, it's your turn to jump into the fray. What are your thoughts on power? Do the similarities with Pokemon enhance your experience, or do they leave you wearing more originality? And what about the mix of survival and crafting with monster collecting? Does it hit the sweet spot for you or miss the mark? I'm super curious to know. Drop your thoughts, theories, and opinion in the comments below. I'll be diving into your comments to see what you all think. It's your insight and idea that make this community amazing. So let's get a lively discussion going. And hey, if you've played Power, share your most memorable moments or biggest surprises, any epic wins or hilarious fail, or maybe you've got some tips and tricks for newcomers. Let's make this comment section a treasure trove of Power, wisdom and stories. All right, folks, that's wrap up our journey today through the world of Power World. If you enjoyed this deep dive, smash that thumb up button. It really helps the channel. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and ring that bell button for more gaming godness. We've got plenty more content on the way and trust me, you won't want to miss it. Until our next gaming adventure, keep exploring, keep playing and as always, keep having fun. Thank you for watching and I catch you in the next video.